Welcome to Eldersley. Welcome to the 19th hole. <laughs> this is up. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking thought uh, about yes. <laughs> At least give me a hand. What, what <laughs> no, do you think? No. Doggy. Doggy. <laughs> Welcome to Aldersley. Welcome to the 19th hole. We are absolutely stoked to bring you today's you know, show from here. Um, this is a great little course. Was it whoever, whoever it was that said come out here and watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, I, it, I really should take note of people when they put down yeah. the com in that comment. Well, at least write it somewhere. I somewhere feel kind of bad, it. Yeah. but it was a great little tip. And the drone footage that you were just showing me on your phone, which we're going to overlay just, just for the fun of it. That was my I, sore it looks. Elbow. Sorry, sorry, I touched you. It, um, it all goes sort of goes down into a valley. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, look, it, yeah, it just looks so good. I didn't realise how much of a valley it was. Like, it's literally the base of the valley is the golf course, and that's it. Yeah, but you get up high and like you have nice little high shots too. But like I said in the review, it's it, this. It's just so peaceful. Like you just you just stand there, and you did a whistle at one point, and it's echoed. With dee -dee. I can't yeah, do that. I, I, can, I do loud whistles too. Do one now. Yeah, no. Why not? Because I don't want to blow the camera up. Do it. <laughs> no, no. I'll finger no, one. I can't. Come on, give me a finger. The only noise, really. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> you say give me a finger. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. <laughs> this, is and going, <laughs> this is going sideways real yeah. quick, isn't it? And we're back. Um, yeah, the only noise really, really you're getting around here is you've got the birds and every now and then a plane or a helicopter will fly over. Yeah, somewhere nearby, but you don't really see them. Yeah, no, no it's it's so peaceful. You don't even hear the sheep out here. And normally I want to show you the, like, the, the club rooms, but they were closed when yeah. I came past. But when we first arrived, we went in to pay for the ground and they had the little fireplace going and stuff. And it was a cool little club room, so yeah. it's a shame that I missed out on showing that. But... And it's a volunteer run type course too, which I, I, I was really impressed with. Like, for volunteers to keep yeah. to maintain the course like this. I mean, obviously, yeah, okay, we're in Tasmania. It doesn't get as hot as other parts of the mainland, especially up north. And it's not as dry as, I mean, let's face it, you go 100 k's out of Melbourne and Victoria and it's dry as all bugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it is, they do get a bit of different weather down here. So it is a, maybe a bit easier to keep things, but it's tidy as well. Yeah, the greens were great, Nick. The fairways, the fairways were in great, Nick. Um, and I love the multiple tees. Like we did one of the holes where, like, we played the we played the nine holes here, but you can play it again from different tees. And one of the holes, I can't remember which hole it was, it might have been like the six. We actually went for the top tee rather than the, which yeah, was supposed looks, to be the it hole. Awesome. It looked better from up there. We thought yeah. it's going to look better on camera. But so if um, you see it's teeing off between blue or white, the blue's the front nine, the white was the back nine, and they just looked better. So that's why we done it. Yeah, but like it's, the, we wanted to bring you better footage. So that's kind yeah, of why we. That's right. Like the signature hole, which is a better segue than your one the other day. Oh. Um, we teed off in the white just for the plain fact that it was literally that hole, that section was actually over water, where yeah. from the front nine you weren't. So, on that note, what's a signature hole? Right, uh, sig hole time. I'm doing it today. We are coming at you from Eldersley, down in Tassie. Now, this par three is it's only 150 metres. Now, as you can see, there's water and a bunker right in front of the green. This course, I tell you, this course is a very, very picturesque course. It's a nine hole course. So, this is the sixth or the 15th. Yeah, six or fifteen. It is. It is fantastic. This course and this hole. I mean, look at it. it speaks itself. I'm gonna go me trusty eight iron. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna put this one in the hole. Hi, Josh. Sit on that. Sit on it. Right shot. That is front edge of the green. Well, I could not have asked for a better shot for that, but we'll go up there and have a look and hopefully I can get anything other than a bogey today. All right, I'm going to jump in the sick hole here. Let's see if I can get closer than Damien did. Oh, shut up. That makes me want to pee, that sound. I've sprayed my way right. Nah, lucky it's Damien's sick hole, not mine. I didn't have it high enough. That's the speed, right? It didn't have it high enough. Oh, 
and that's how you putt for your Seeker Troll. Just let you know. Yeah. Right, so I made this green for one. Happy days. Got a very lengthy putt, and just watch Trevor's roll. He's in. He decided to chip it in front of mine. So, uh, I mean, now I'm not the best of putters, but I'm going to give it a crack. I don't know why I put my glove on. I'm putting. Yeah. Not with it today. <laughs> or any other day. Right. Uh, hit this bobble here and stop. Right, so, take two. So, normal thing, can't putt. I'm going backwards, look at that. So that was a signature hole. I, I really need to learn how to putt. Yeah, I mean, I showed you. I showed you the line beforehand. You did, and I, I, I got the line, I just didn't hit it. It looks so, I mean, the, the, that drone footage, it looks so cool with the water reflecting, because like, it, it, it's so yeah. still today. Yeah. And it looked really cool just sort of gliding across the... It's windier now than it was. On the right in the room, yeah. Rush, what we were playing, like, I noticed a couple of times I had the drone up. I'm like, oh, it's actually windy up there. Like, I didn't feel anything down on the ground. Yeah, I mean, there, there was there was a number of holes today that could have been the signature hole. Uh, there was one hole. What hole was that? It might have been the third or the second? That I, th par I, five. Believe, I believe it was the... Uh, the second, maybe. The second hole. It was a long par five, the double dog leg that you end up throwing your club and said, no, that's enough. <laughs> it was it was, it was was the signature hole candidate. Yeah. And it was actually a ripping hole because it... It just keeps going. It goes around to the right like this and then it goes uphill to the yeah. green. And I just unfortunately had that a... Was a and a there's mare. a creek across it. You know, in range, so like the tr the trees overhang yeah. off the tee, so that made it even. I teed off with my five iron and just got it over the tree, and then and I put it in a bad spot because I was behind trees, but there was a creek there as well, so I was like, well, you played the hole so well, and then you just like you, you're the third shot into the green, you pushed a bit too long, yeah, and then you did a mirror of a fucking ooh language <laughs> cut <laughs> language warning, <laughs> <laughs> and you did yeah you did that really poor chip shot over the top of the. And then that was that was that was off. Yeah, it wasn't a bad, but it just it hit the wrong part of the green and rolled too far. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there's that the eighth hole as well. It was a nice short um, par three. Another not a little par three, but you're teeing off up high. Yep. Um, you landed that one. You know, two meters from the flag. Oh, that was yeah. Think of that. It's interesting that with this. Like, I mean, we were trying to get Josh in the right spot, but it was really hard from up there because the trees actually yeah, you see couldn't the actually see where you're landing yeah you could um, see the top of the flag stick and that was it so you yeah. had something named for but that was it i missed the b part which is which is annoying me yeah still yeah. annoying me I'd, I'd like to know what it feels like to have a body part <laughs> from that range especially yeah, not so good to miss them though it doesn't feel so good to miss them uh, i bet it wouldn't but no nah, look it was yeah it was a it was a good hole. What I'm loving i, I mean tassie obviously is the, a, a smaller state funny enough um and it's hilly but there's a lot of little par three courses which we're finding, yeah. and I, I kind of want to go on their website and make a map. So we've got a map already on the Treadham website of all the courses that we reviewed, like a Google map. You can go and see all the courses. I kind of want to go through and make a map of the par threes down here and do like a, a trip from north to south, and show some of these. Like New Norfolk was spectacular. Dover was awesome. Hmm. This is this is like for a volunteer run little tiny country course, sort of yeah. literally in the middle of nowhere. It's pristine. Like There's the, another one up at, um, is it Winyard? They'll, they'll, they were going to review yeah, later. They, yeah, they're okay. repairing three of the holes. It was only six holes. Oh, right, so the coast, yeah, yeah. I remember right on Bass yeah. Straits. So it was up near Seabrook. We we're going to play Seabrook and that one in the one day. But yeah. they said there's only six holes playing at the moment because of the they're doing works on three of them. I think she said come back at the later in the year, like in yeah. spring, so we'll have to come so, back. Yeah, we're going to come back. Cause that, that, I mean, that one's right on. That looked awesome, that one. Yeah. Um, if you know of any around Launceston or, you know, Davenport or anywhere like that, or even down the east coast. Yeah, I mean you could you could come over here for two weeks and you know play golf six seven times on nine old courses. Well, what I love, and, I, and I'm actually been contemplating this myself with my family, is like you could, I could come down here and bring the family, and then you could nick off for a couple of hours in the middle mm. of the day because it's only nine whole course, so it takes you two hours. If you're playing quickly, it's an hour and a half. Yeah, and then you're back. You're only missing a tiny part of the day, mm. and then you can experience all the awesome well, awesomeness what, that Tassie has. What I'm finding too is like we 
had like we rocked up here at about 11 o'clock and they had a comp on there's cars everywhere but we're behind the end of the, the group so we basically had and now course. everyone's yeah. gone yep and there's one guy walking around by himself he's yeah he nearly like, hit the rv which was terrifying um <laughs> <laughs> but he's on he's on the course by himself um you know like that's it there's <laughs> so many times we had new, new norfolk to ourselves we had dover to ourselves yeah you know like, like we're just getting all these courses to ourselves and it's just yeah, you can literally run around. We had the camera and we ran around Dover, albeit it was cold and raining a lot. But we ran around that in like an, just over yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half, hour before um, it's So if you're by yourself without cameras or anything like that, just hitting and walking, you could probably do it in an hour. Yeah, I mean, if it's, you're good. It's, it's so cool. I mean, you could even do a mate's trip where you could get, yeah, you could get a couple of mates, hire an RV, um, and then just do a trip around Tassie, checking out all the cool, cool stuff. Because like, yeah. there's so many cool, like, we stopped, at, what was it, um, South End last, Arms End? South Arm. Um, um, South Arm. South Arm. Yes, where we stayed last night. Yeah. And There's it's a right... Little... Yeah, go. Oh, it's right right next to an RSL where we yeah. stayed. We went inside and had a feed. It was a really good feed. Yeah. Um, and it's so cool to stay in these little places because yeah. they're really friendly. You get really good food. Yeah. And then you can... It um, doesn't cost you much to, to camp for the night in the RV. Well, I mean, it said... According to the website, I use wiki camps. And it said it was like five bucks. But no one actually... There was no one there saying it. No one actually asked us if we could, but we spent money in the RSL, so... Yeah, a lot of them, if, if you have dinner at the place or if you mm. um, spend some money in the place, yeah. they'll let you stay. Well, so there's a lot of pubs in, um, on the mainland that do that as well, out in the middle of nowhere. If you sit down, you, you pull up at the night, you can stay, camp for free. Yeah. Just go and buy a couple of beers in the pub. Um, they might they might even do it here. I don't, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I remember um, Ratho Farms was the same. If you like, if you bought green fees and then had um, yeah. dinner and breakfast there, you can stay, you can park your RV and stay there for the night yeah. for nothing. Um, and that's that's an awesome experience, Ratho. So that's worth the yeah. visit by itself. Yeah, and that's it. And that's it, literally out in the middle of nowhere, of course, isn't it? So. And we did hear from Greg, the owner of Ratho, recently, and he said that they've um, the greens, the greens got tense. in better nick than when we were there. So they had a bit of sand on them when we were there. I think yeah. they were just trying to. Apparently, he said a couple of years ago there was like a massive flood that yeah. went through and it wrecked a bunch of the greens. Everything, everything, basically, it covered every hole bar the first, second, and the fifth, higher ones yeah the yeah. higher ones fifth or fourth or something it yeah was, it was weird something weird but yeah basically all the nearly every green on there got absolutely trashed and so really tempted to go past yeah. and have a look just to, just to have a little sticky peek and see how yeah. oh, we haven't got time to play it but i'd like to have a sticky peek well, and see what it looks we're like we're a long way away from it now so. are we yeah. okay well, we're on the other side of the island <laughs> i'm not good at reading maps no <laughs> <laughs> yes, tassie sits this direction not this way <laughs> <laughs> but no we um if we went up that road i mean yeah i'll we'll kind of do it if we're going to go up and play Ulver Ulverston or something like that this trip but which is another one that we will get to we have yes. been asked to go to yeah um, we, we hear you and we, we would love to we want to do the barn boogle we want to do up that, that north side of tassie so we'll make a trip out of that and and I oh, can't yeah. wait for these new ones down south to open up as well. Yeah, like, that'd be cool. Can you imagine having like world class courses like King Island and Barn Bugle, having like more more of them in Tassie? I mean, we need more of them in Victoria, to be totally honest with you. I mean, Tassie's becoming like fast becoming a really cool death. Like, the more courses we play, the more I realise that there's a lot of good courses down here that people need to get on. We're thinking you now that we can't wait to go overseas and we can't. We, I can't wait to just go into state in Australia at the moment. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I don't know what West Australia's like. I played a course many years ago up in Townsville, so I know you know they're awesome up there. The resort courses up there, yeah. Um, I know, you know, I've played a couple in New South Wales, and I know of around Newcastle, one around Newcastle. Oh, Bonville, I want to play. I want to get on that. Yeah, I want to get on Bonville. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Um, that's a pricey one. Um, but yeah, you know, look, there's. I mean, you look at the course, you look at pictures and that, and they're great. So, you know, look, if we get overseas in happy days, but if we don't, I'm not going to complain. I don't mind keep coming to Tassie. Maybe during winter, I might. Stuck it uh, a little more, winter, more winter time. More winter time. Um, what a bring of snow. It's getting a bit cold. <laughs> I had shorts on today and I'm kind of wishing I had pants on. Um, 15% Alright. Okay. Um, cameraman the, Josh is just telling us the battery's about to die because <laughs> cameraman Josh is doing his job. Doing a good job there, Josh. Well done. He's sitting there and he's sticking his finger up. <laughs> We've just complimented him and he sticks his finger up. If anyone, if anyone wants to be cameraman, <laughs> yeah, there's a no, spot opening up soon. Um, <laughs> Josh is getting left in Tassie. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned it before. The um, the the weather here obviously is different, mm. and they get more rain because of the, the way the way they're situated with the ocean on either side. And um, but it allows for a lot a lot of good golf courses. Like you go to Victoria, and there's the, there are remarkable courses. We've got we've got a lot of them on our website. Um, yeah. But there's a lot of ones that are flat and dry. There's a lot of flat areas in Victoria, and a lot of dry areas, so they, they struggle for the water. Yeah. And, and Australia's a lot a lot of Australia's like that. But Tassie. 
She's, she's, she's the exception. Yeah, there's the only flat areas we seem to find is where the water is. <laughs> like, like, well, down at, like I say, well, down at South Arm, I was like, and you're driving back, and it's just it's a valley that's just full of ocean. Yeah, and it looked like glass. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know if we've got any footage of it, but it looks so... No, I don't think so we cool. did this morning. Uh, um, if we did, they'll put it over the top. If not, then we won't. If you don't say it, then sorry. <laughs> but, um, no, come it see was, it for yourself. Yeah, exactly. But, no, do it. Look, come over to Tassie. Look, it's easy, an easy trip. You come over on the boat, bring your own car. You know, come over on a plane and fly, like fly in a Hobart and hire an RV. Yeah, fly like Virgin, the, fly Virgin, fly yeah. Rex, fly Qantas. Don't fly Jetstar. No, try your very hardest to avoid Jetstar. Every time, every time. And if you work for Jetstar, <laughs> we're really sorry, but we've been delayed like every time. You're going back on Jetstar tomorrow, yeah, I've got a feeling I'm actually going to beat you to Melbourne. Do you know what's funny? The moment they, they turn around and sponsor us, we'll, fly Jetstar. Jetstar's fantastic. <laughs> you won't be delayed four hours every time. No, it's only once a month. <laughs> But um, I look, you know, they, they, unfortunately, the times at the moment with COVID and things like that, we... Oh, it's been tough. I mean, and you, yeah, you, it you, is you, tough. And if people ring up and go, oh, I've got COVID, they might not actually have COVID. They just ring up and go, I can't go to work, could be bothered going to work, I have COVID. Then <laughs> I'm not saying that's what's happening, but, you know, like we got told, I got told, I was talking to one of the staff yesterday, and they said, yeah, they're just under the pump because of COVID. Um, just so many people having time off with COVID. I mean, you don't know if they are or if they're not. It's rancid. It is. It isn't. I'm not telling my view on it. I don't mean, who knows? I've, I'm lucky. I've never caught it. Yeah. Um, I'm probably one of the few. Of. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Um, and I was crook as hell the other day. I stayed in bed all day. So. Yeah. But that was other issues. So. But the rules are the rules are changing. So, I mean, hopefully we can get back to some, some normality where, like, I, I never liked that people just come to work sick. But, I mean, I get why people do because they need the money. Yeah. Like, and it, people, a lot of people rely on the shift work to get their money. So... It, <laughs> I can mm. understand why they do it. Yeah. No, well, that's it. So, no, nah, look, we've had an awesome few days here in Tassie. We've, we're not going to play anymore. Oh, we might play. No, we probably won't play anymore. We might find another one night holler if we, we might. If we yeah. find a night holler and we get up early enough tomorrow, if I can kick these guys out of bed early enough, we might play. Um, but if not, then the well, next time we'll be coming from you somewhere in New South Wales or Queensland, whichever we end up in. Yeah. It's a surprise. It is, because we don't even know what it's we're It's a surprise doing. for us, too. <laughs> we, will, we will let you know when we know. We'll be coming to you from somewhere. Yeah. And if you see the thumbnail when you're going through the YouTube feed, click on the damn thumbnail, because that helps us a lot. It does. Click the like. Click the subscribe. Hit the All bell. that stuff. We're not going to do what the, 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 the young teenage, the, uh, YouTubers do. And hit the subscribe button or the world will end. That sort of stuff. No, we, we just, just didn't do it. Well, we're not going to do that. The you little, did just... What? Now you confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what our trips are like. <laughs> hit the like, hit the subscribe because we need the subs and we need the likes and we need the watch time. So get in there and have a decent someone better than me doing Google Maps. Cause <laughs> I've got us lost twice in Tassie. I got us through America fine. Tassie, no good. <laughs> it's easy if you're in the car because you can just turn around. An RV, not so easy to just turn around on a dime. Well, there was a couple of driveways you could have drove in and backed out of. But no, you you're trying to do a fishing. <laughs> Handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, we don't do that. Cruising RVs, we would not treat yeah, no. cruising motorhomes. Um, but seriously, no, get over to Tassie. The amount of courses we're fanny. We've been here a couple of times. And like you say, we could come over here again. Even if we just come over for three or four days and play three, two or three courses and just fly back. It's a quick, easy trip. Yep. Um, well, when you can check out our Tassie, Tasmanian golf course on Earth Hole if you want. Yeah. Because that was last week and that was that was a wicked place. So yeah. check that out. Yeah. And have a go back and if you, you know, if it's the first time watching it and you're wondering what the bloody hell we're talking about, have a look on our, on our page at all the courses we've played in Tassie. Like, there have been some absolute crackers. Just unbelievable courses. So that's all good. Thanks for watching.